chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again so this is a question that is based on the line diagrams let us first of all try to understand what this diagram is about the heading says that viewers in thousands in theaters a and theater b in 2015 this square is for theater a this triangle is for theater b and we have been given months january has been given march has been given but february has not been given april skipped may july september november and if we want to find out the viewers of theater a in january it is 40 in march it became 44 then 42 then 38 then there is a crossover so be careful about this crossover because sometimes in haste we think the graph is like this so just keep in mind that this is a triangle and this triangle will tell us that the progress of this graph is from here here and then here now the question is the number of viewers in theater b in october is equal to the average of the viewers of the same theater in september and november so the september month and november month their average will give us the viewers in the month of october for which there is actually no data given here so let us first of all write it only theater b in october we can see that it will be this triangle is theater b so move along this one we see that 32 and 24 are the figures for september and november so their average we can find out 32 plus 24 by 2 this will be 56 divide by 2 so the cancellation will give us 28 as the value for theater b in october now he says also the viewers in theater a in october is 5 by 7 of the viewers of theater b in the october month find the number of viewers of theater a in october so in october itself it has been given that the viewers are 5/7 of the viewers of theater b in the october month this means that in a they will be 5 by 7 of this 28 which is the figure for october month for theater b so you can see that 7 and 4 28 4 and 5 20 and since the values are in thousands we can say 20000 is the required answer let us move to our next question now the total number of viewers in march 2016 this data is for 2015 and this is where the march figure stands that is in the next year increased by 40% as compared to that in march 2015 this is the total viewership for both the theaters so we can write viewers in march 2016 would be equal to we would rather say increase 
would be 40 by 100 multiplied by the sum total of these. If you add them 8, 4, 12, 1, 5, 2, 7. So it will be 72 into 1000 because the figures are in thousands. So we can see that this zero will get cancelled and ultimately we get 28,800 as the increase in viewership for March 2016. Next he says if the viewers of theater A in March 2016 are 25% more than that in 2015, that is the increase alone for theater A. Increase alone for A. This increase is given as 25% of for A, the figure was 44 and multiply by 1000. So, this 25 and 100 will give me 4. 4 and 44 will give me 11. So, increase for A alone is 11,000. Then find the difference between number of viewers of theater B in 2016 and in March 2015. So we have to basically find the increase for theater B alone. Increase for B alone will obviously be the total increase minus for A alone minus 11. So, this figure you can see is 00871. So, it will be 17,800, which is the required answer. Questions are not difficult, but just in a round, roundabout manner, nothing else. Let us move on to our next question now. What is the ratio of viewers of theater A in May and November together? So, May and November together, let us first of all mark them. Be very careful, this figure is 42 for A and this is 14 for A. So, let us write 42 plus 14 on one side. Together to that of theater B in January and September together. So for B, this is January and September travel along this, it is 32. Most people will in haste just forget about this crossover and will write wrong figures. The examiner is testing just this thing whether you can visually understand the movement of the data in a graph. So, you will add 20 plus 32. Now, this is just common arithmetic. 56 divided by 52. We can now cal cancel them on the table of 4, 14 and 13. Therefore, the required ratio is 14 is to 13, which is one of the given options and the required answer. Let us move to our next question now. What is the difference between the total number of viewers of theater A in May, September and November together? First of all, let us add them together. May, it is 42. Then you have to go to September, come along this one 24 and then you have to go to November which is 14. So this is 10, 1, 5, 7, 80 for the theater A. And the total number of viewers of theater B during the same months. For B, let us pick 
36 and for september it is 32 and for november it will be 24 so 6 and 6 12 1 4 3 7 and 2 9 and difference has been asked the difference is 92 minus 18 equal to 12 and since the figures are in thousands we would write it as 12000 which is the required answer let us move to our next question now if number of viewers in theater a in january 2016 that is the next year increases by 20% this is january month and 40 is there so we can say in january 2016 for a the viewers will be 40 is already there there is an increase of 20% so we would say 120 by 100 so 20% increase will mean that total will be 120 by 100 and multiply it by 40 so we can calculate it as 48 12 448 these zeros have been cancelled out so we have 48000 i am not writing 1000 right now to just simplify my calculation next he says and that of theater b by 10% as compared to the corresponding number of viewers of these theaters in january 2015 so in b the increase was 10% for the same month january 2016 b the figure was so it was 20 in 2015 then there is a 10% increase so actual value will be 110 by 100 you can see that it is going to be 22 now what is saying then the difference between the number of viewers of a and b in january 2016 so we have to subtract that find the difference between these two and this you can see will come to 8 minus 2 6 4 minus 2 2 and multiply by 1000 your answer will be 26000 which is the required answer so a little bit of practice of these types of questions it helps us to understand what type of questions are being asked and we have already taken a number of exercises on this